Hi, I'm Steve Morris with New Era Racecraft, and we're going to go over how to degree a camshaft and how to properly lash your valve train. So, let's go right to this motor. First thing that you're going to need to do is you need to determine your top dead center. We have our degree wheel on here, we have our wire that's pointing to zero. We roughly have it set right now, but what we want to do is you're going to take your degree wheel and you're going to go both sides of zero on your indicator. So I have an indicator that's sitting up here determining where the top dead center is. So we're going to back it up a little bit, say to about 50 thousandths. We read the number, it's at 10 degrees here. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to find exactly where we split in the difference. We're splitting the difference on this. So we're at zero there, 10 degrees here. So we go up, piston's coming up. Goes past top dead center, goes all the way back down to zero. Right there, zero. Now the pointer is telling us that we're at 15, so we're five degrees off. So all we have to do is move this degree wheel two and a half thousandths. Now we'll go back and we'll check this out again. Come back in, go to zero, and we're at 12. Piston comes up, goes past top dead center, goes back to zero, and we're at 12. So now we know that we have absolute top dead center, and the top dead center is correct. So, now we don't need the indicator in here anymore. What we have is we have an indicator that we put right into the cylinder board. Now you might be using uh, the lifter, which is going to be normal. You're going to put a lifter in the lifter bore. You're going to run that same indicator that we just had here, run a top dead center. You're going to be putting it down and touching the lifter. But this is basically simulating the lifter, just makes it easier for us because we do so many of these. So put it in the lifter hole, number one intake. And the system that we're using right now, or the method that we're using is uh, 50 over top dead center. That way we're, uh, we can also do this where we're measuring on the opening point, but I prefer to do it on intake center line instead of intake opening. It's just easier. Uh, all our camshafts are very mild profiles. They're, you're not going to pick up any differences of what's going on there. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to roll the motor over. We have it set at top dead center. We know that that is correct. Now we roll the motor over until the lifter, or our indicator, has come all the way up to top peak lift. As soon as it reaches peak lift, which is about right there, we're going to set the indicator on zero. You would do the same thing, you'd set the indicator on zero if you had it pointing down and touching your lifter. Okay. The, remember, the lifter is all the way up, it's at peak lift, you're going to set it at zero. Now, what you want to do is make sure all your stuff is tight so nothing's moving. You're going to back it up about 75 thousandths. Then you're going to come forward to 50 thousandths. What you're doing is you're just taking any slop or any backlash out of your, uh, out of your hub or whatever you have going on here. Okay, now it's at 50, so that's 50 thousandths before peak lift. Look at your indicator on your wheel. We're at 70. Okay. Now we go past peak lift. It goes to zero. Now we go back down to 50. So what we've done is we started at 50 thousandths before peak lift, gone over peak lift, and they're at 50 thousandths past it now. We read the number, which is 162. Okay, now we're going to take our calculator, we're going to add our two numbers together that we came up with on the degree wheel. First number was 70. 70 plus 162. Now what we're doing is we need to divide that, add those numbers together, equals 232. We divide that number by 2. And what that does is that gives us the exact middle or intake center line. So our intake center line on this particular camshaft, as we just agreed it, is 116. 
Now if we wanted to make any changes, any movements, uh, chains, you're going to have different systems where you can, um, different positions on the bottom gear. You might have a hex adjust where you're going to turn the button up on the top. Belt drives are adjustable uh, with the outside ring to the inner ring. But either way, you're going to advance it. Makes a smaller number for intake center line. So advanced from here would be 115, 114, 113. Those are advanced numbers. If we wanted to retard the camshaft, your intake center line number gets bigger. Okay, so if you have your cam card or if you've gotten a cam card or a camshaft from us, you're going to call us up or we'll have it in the card saying that you want to degree the camshaft to 110. So from here, you would need to advance the camshaft six degrees to make it go to 110 and then just repeat the same process over again. So remember, first things first, top dead center, go both sides of top dead center, split that number to find the absolute zero. Then you come into putting the indicator on your lifter. You're going to run it up to top dead center or top peak lift. You're going to set the indicator at zero. That way you know where peak lift is. Then you back it up about 75, 80 thousandths, and then come forward again. So you take all the backlash out of it. You go to 50 thousandths before peak lift. Read the number. Roll it over so it goes over peak lift. Comes back down on the other side of the load. Read the number. Add those two numbers together. Divide them by two. That gives you your intake center line number. Remember that advancing it makes that number smaller. Retarding it makes it bigger. So a camshaft that is in at 115 is retarded from a camshaft that's in at 110. Or if you want to put it in a camshaft at 106, you're going to have to go even further advanced. All depends on where your camshaft manufacturer, the grinder, wants you to install. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go show you how to properly lash valves over here on the dyno and give you proper procedures for that.